Ukraine has pulled off a world first in modern warfare, an entirely unmanned operation where robots, not soldiers, forced Russian troops to surrender. In July 2025, Ukraine's elite third separate assault brigade used a coordinated team of ground robots and FPV drones to assault and capture enemy positions in the Kharkiv region. This isn't tech fantasy, it's real, it's happening now, and it signals a shift in how wars may be fought moving forward. So, in today's video, we're taking a closer look at this robot-assisted operation, how it unfolded, what technologies made it possible, and why it matters for the future of combat. Let's dive in. In early July, Ukraine's third separate assault brigade, nicknamed Triple, launched a fully unmanned offensive near Kharkiv using ground-based robotic complexes and FPV kamikaze drones. According to Ukrainian military statements, a kamikaze ground robot first destroyed a Russian bunker. As damaged Russian troops retreated, another robot approached, prompting them to surrender rather than risk further attacks. Aerial drones then guided the captured soldiers back to Ukrainian lines, all without a human soldier entering the engagement zone. This marks the first confirmed fully robot-led assault in modern warfare, according to the Ukrainian brigade. Ukrainian sources say nearby positions that had resisted prior human-led assault were overtaken, showing the tactical effectiveness of the unmanned operation. The assault combined multiple unmanned platforms. FPV kamikaze drones carried out the initial strike, while ground robots, either armed or armored, advanced on the remaining defenders. Remote visual feedback from aerial drones reportedly guided both the ground units and the surrendered Russian soldiers. Although Ukraine has not disclosed the exact models used in this operation, it's likely that a combination of fielded systems from the Brave One initiative took part. Among them are the Rattel S, a tracked UGV designed to deliver explosives and act as a loitering munition, and the Ironclad, an armored platform capable of transporting weapons or surveillance gear across complex terrain. Other known systems include the Temistokal, a modular bot used for cargo and support, and the Shablia M2, a small, remotely operated firing platform. Some robots, such as the Liut, are specifically designed for bunker breaching operations. These UGVs operate alongside Ukraine's massive fleet of FPV drones, which are now deployed in the thousands. The Brave One Consortium has so far fielded 14 ground platforms and over 80 robotic systems in total. Integration of AI targeting, secure communications, and multi-platform coordination is ongoing, with most platforms using off-the-shelf parts adapted under battlefield pressure. This operation highlights a major shift in military operations. Unmanned systems are no longer limited to support roles like they were early in the war. They can lead offensive operations. Ground robots offer unique advantages, including physical presence, payload capacity, and endurance that drones alone can't match. Ukraine's use of robots aims to reduce troop risk while maintaining combat effectiveness. It also shows lessons in scalability and innovation under fire. Western militaries have long studied unmanned systems, but rarely combined them in real-world assaults. Ukraine's battlefield deployment of swarming drones and UGVs underlines its asymmetric advantages in robotics. Finally, it changes how occupying forces perceive risk. If enemy bunkers can be breached without risking soldiers, defenders may opt to surrender earlier or retreat, giving Ukraine a psychological edge. Despite all of this, several key questions remain. Official Ukrainian sources haven't disclosed how many Russian soldiers were captured, the exact location, or the extent of damage. Western analysts caution that terrain, jamming risk, and unexpected failures could complicate wider use. While the technology is promising, reliability in diverse environments is still being proven. 
Ukraine's robot-led raid in Kharkiv shows that unmanned systems aren't just support tools anymore. Ground robots and drones work together to capture enemy troops. It's a glimpse of how future wars may be fought. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. And if you found this video insightful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest defense news and analysis.